Learn Persian with Chai and Conversation Lesson 10. Hello and welcome to Learn Persian with Chai and Conversation, the podcast for anyone looking to learn conversational Persian. My name is Leila and I'll be your teacher for the course. And my name is Matt and I will be learning Persian along with you. Chai and Conversation will teach you conversational Persian in weekly lessons of about 15 minutes each. If you know anything about Iranians, they don't do anything without first grabbing a cup of tea, or as they call it, chai. So pour yourself a cup and join us in learning the Persian language. Welcome to the 10th episode of Learn Persian with Chai and Conversation. We congratulate you on making it this far into the program. We've been learning so much new vocabulary in each lesson, and we hope that it's helped you become more comfortable with learning the Persian language. This episode is a very special one. It marks the end of what we're calling Unit 1 of Learn Persian with Chai and Conversation. So we'll be using this edition to review and consolidate all the vocabulary and phrases we've been learning so far. We're going to end the episode by going through two sets of dialogue that will combine the vocabulary from the different lessons as well as teach you a few filler vocabulary words you can use in practical conversation. As you know, you can download the bonus material from our website at www.chaiandconversation.com with chai spelled C-H-A-I. This week's bonus PDF will be filled with fun exercises you can complete to test your knowledge of the vocabulary we have learned so far. In addition, as always, the enhanced podcasts provide visual flashcards that spell the words we're learning phonetically in English so that you can follow along as you learn. We'll talk more about this after the lesson. But for now, are you ready to begin the lesson, Matt? Bale, Farsi, Yad, Begirim, Bachai, and Conversation. In the past eight weeks, you've learned so much new vocabulary and new phrases in the Persian language. Hopefully, you've listened to the lessons enough times to become confident with the vocabulary we've learned. Today, we're going to go through all the vocabulary with a few different activities. This lesson is all about building even more confidence with what you know so far so that you can more easily use the vocabulary in simple conversations in Persian. Matt, I hope that you remember this vocabulary. Me too. To begin with, in the first program, we covered greetings and how to ask people how they are. So, Matt, how do we say, how are you? Give the listeners a second to come up with their own answers before providing yours, Matt. So, how are you would be... Chetori. Great, and now that we've learned a bit more about the Persian language, I can explain that this is a very informal way of asking someone how they're doing, and it uses the informal you. To ask someone how they are doing in the formal sense, you would say, Hale shoma chetore. Hale shoma chetore. Now, this is a general review program, but I will fill in some gaps that are necessary. So, again, let's try that. Hale shoma chetore. Hale shoma chetore. Great, and how would you say, very well? Heili khubam. Exactly, heili khubam. And what if you're not doing very well and you want to say, I'm not well? Khub nistam. Exactly. And when you want to say you're not bad? Bad nistam. So again, in that first program, you talked about how to say how you're doing. Then we went on to the next lesson to learn greetings throughout the day. Do you remember the way you say good morning? So bejer. Exactly. So then we use this word bejer to greet people throughout the day. There were words for good day, ruz bejer, good afternoon, asr bejer. And then do you remember the word for night to say good night? Sha bejer. Exactly. Perfect. Then in program three, we learned how to ask people where they're from. And like most questions in the Persian language, there are two ways to do this. What is the informal version of, where are you from? 
اهل کجا هستی؟ Right, اهل کجا هستی؟ And what would be the formal version of asking the same question? اهل کجا هستین؟ Great, simple enough. Then we learned how to answer where you are from. How would you say I am from Iran? من از ایران هستم. Then we learned how to say I live in. So how would you say I live in Austin? در آستن زندگی می کنم. So putting this together, you would say I am from Iran, but I live in Austin. And Matt, can you put that all together? من از ایران هستم ولی در آستن زندگی می کنم. Exactly. من از ایران هستم ولی در آستن زندگی می کنم. And ولی is the word for but. Now, I want to note that as we're going through this, we're only covering a bit from each lesson. There's so much more in each individual lesson, but you can go through each individually and review them on your own. This review session will give a good indication of which lessons you should probably go back to and go over. Also, be sure to use the notes and extra podcasts we make available on the website in the bonus materials. Then we also went over the words for family members. So Matt, we're going to go over a few of the family members. I'm going to ask you the Persian word for different members of the family and give the listeners a moment to come up with their answer before giving yours. First one, how do you say brother? Barodar. Right, barodar. Second, how do you say sister? Khohar. That's right, khohar. Third, how would you say mother? Madar. Madar. And number four, son. Pesar. That's right, pesar. Number five, husband. Shohar. Shohar. Finally, number six, wife. Zan. Khili khub. Now, we included a word on our extra bonus materials on the PDF guides, and it means spouse. And that is hamsar. Hamsar. So this word can be used either for husband or wife, and the literal meaning of the word is something along the lines of equal head. So it means my equal or my other half. Hamsar. Hamsar. Moving on, we learned how to say I have. Do you remember the word for this, Matt? I have. Daram. Yes, so ye khohar daram would be I have a sister. How do you ask, do you have a son? Pesar dari. Dari means you have, so do you have a son is pesar dari. Pesar dari. Now we're going to go through the numbers. We're going to listen to Matt repeating all the numbers set to rhythm from our sixth lesson. Yek, do, se, chahar, hainj, shish, haf, hash, no, da. And now if you could repeat again along with me, Matt. Yek. Yek. Do. Do. Se. Se. Chahar. Chahar. Pinch. Pinch. Shish. Shish. Haft. Haft. Hashed. Hashed. No. No. Dah. Dah. We'll be covering larger numbers very soon. So we went on to learn about jobs. We already learned the word for I am, which is Hastam. So how would we say I am a teacher, Matt? Mu'alim Hastam. And can you explain saying man mu'alim Hastam versus mu'alim Hastam? The man is understood in mu'alim Hastam. So you could say man mu'alim Hastam to emphasize the I. But you don't need it in the sentence for it to be understood. Exactly. 
Also, it's important to note that a, as in I am a teacher, is also understood, so you don't need to add that in there either. You just say I am teacher. And what is the word for work? Car. So, man dad kar khune kar mikonam, to say I work in a factory. And we ended that lesson by learning how to say I like my job or in Persian. Karamo dust daram. And what if you don't like your work? Then in the next lesson, we learned how to say what you like to do. So let's try saying, I like to learn Persian. And in the beginning of this lesson, Matt said, And that means let's learn Persian. How would you say, I like chocolate? Shukulat daram. Great, and now it's time for some dialogues to see exactly how much you've learned so far. See if you can understand this conversation. There might be a couple of challenging words in there or phrases that you don't quite know, but you should be able to understand most of it. So in this dialogue, I am going to be a woman named Arezu. And I'm going to be named Andy. Matt is going to begin. Salam. So bekhir chetori. Salam, khuba mercy, chetori. Khayli khuba mercy. Man Andy hastam. Esme man arezu has. Ishun madar manand. Salam. Bache dari? Bale, yek pesar daram. Esmesh sirus hast va yek dokhtar daram. Esmesh hast Sima. اهل اینجا هستی؟ نه، من از ایران هستم. ولی در پاریس زندگی می کنم. من و مادرم از ایران هستیم و در شیراز زندگی می کنیم. خوب، خوش وقتم. تا بعد. بله، تا بعد. So if you'd like, you can rewind and listen to that conversation again. But now we're going to ask you a few questions about the dialogue. So we met Arezu and her mother, and we met Andy. Do you remember, Matt, how many children Andy had? He had two, a daughter and a son. And do you remember their names? Yes, a daughter named Sima and a son named Sirus. And that's very common in Iranian children's names, by the way. Either the names will rhyme, such as Hamid, Majid, Farid, etc., or they'll begin with the same letter or same sound, like Sirus and Sima. So do you remember where Andy is from? Well, he said, Man az Iran hastam, vali dar Paris zindagi mikonam. So he's from Iran, but he lives in Paris. And then Arezu answered, Man va madaram az Iran hastim, va dar Shiraz zindagi mikonim. So she and her mother are from Iran, and they live in Shiraz, a city in Iran. Now let's do another role-playing conversation covering some different vocabulary. Matt and I are going to be playing the roles of Dariush and Anna, two students meeting at the University of Texas in Austin. Matt will begin. Salam, Ruz Becher Chetori. Salam, Khuba Mercy. Esmeto Chie. اسم من آنا هست. از مکزیک هستم از مونتره. ولی فارسی صحبت میکنی؟ بله، فارسی بلدم. من داریوش هستم. در آستین زندگی میکنم ولی از ایران هستم. خواهر برادر داری؟ بله، یک خواهر دارم و یک برادر دارم. اسم خواهرم Dana hast. Va esme barodaram daron hast. Tochitor, khohar barodar dori? Bale, do khohar, Eliana va itzel. Shogerd hasti? Bale, dar donishkoye texas, dars mikunam. Vali dar restaurant ham kor mikunam. Heli hube. Man ham dar donishkoye texas, shogerd hastam. ولی بیکارم موسیقی دوست داری؟ 
بله موسیقی دوست دارم من هم موسیقی دوست دارم خوب خوش وقتم به امید دیدار بله به همچنین Great, another conversation and there were a few new phrases in there as well. So first, Anna is not from Iran. Here's what she said. As Mexique hastam, as Monterrey. Which means I'm from Mexico, from Monterrey. And then Darius said to her, Vali Farsi sobat mikoni. What does this mean? But you speak Farsi. Exactly, so... Farsi sobat mikoni? Farsi sobat mikoni? This means, do you speak Farsi? So then, Anna answered, Bale, Farsi baladam. Bale, Farsi baladam. Yes, I speak Farsi. She later asked him, Khohar baradar dari? This simply means, you have brothers and sisters? Khohar baradar dari? Khohar? Barodar Dari? And then let's listen to how Dariush replied. Bale, yek khohar daram, va yek barodar daram. Esme khoharam, dana hast, va esme barodaram, daron hast. And what does this mean? He said, Yes, I have a sister and I have a brother. My sister's name is Dana, and my brother's name is Daron. Then Dariush asked, Shogird hasti? And this simply means, are you a student? To which she replied, Bale, dar donishkoy texas das mikunam. Vali dar restaurant ham kar mikunam. Das mikunam means I study. So what does this full sentence mean? Is she a student? Yes, she studies at the University of Texas, but she also works at a restaurant. Great, and Austin being the live music capital of the world, Daryush goes ahead and asks her, Musiri du study? Do you like music? Exactly, to which she replies, Bale, Musiri du storam. Now, in the end, he signs off by saying, Be omide di dar, to which she replies, Bale, be hamchenin. This just means I also, so I hope to see you again as well. Hopefully this review session helped you to consolidate all the vocabulary you've been learning so far in these lessons. And this concludes our Unit 1 for Cheyenne Conversation. We commend you on sticking with the learning process for so long. We're going to continue producing these lessons as long as we receive demand for them. So please continue to send us feedback and continue purchasing the bonus materials as this helps us with the cost of development and distribution. Also, please continue to help spread the word of Chai and Conversation by recommending the podcast to friends and family that you think would be interested. You can subscribe to the podcast on iTunes or access it through our website at chaiandconversation.com with Chai spelled C-H-A-I. We will see you in Unit 2 of Learn Persian with Chai and Conversation. Tabezudi from Matt. And Be'omide Didar from Leila.